Hello, welcome to PDS the Twitter. In this video, we'll be looking at how to construct ionic equation in chemistry. So I have an example here that says sodium hydroxide react with sulfuric acid, forming sodium sulfate and water. Now, there are things that you have to know when it comes to writing of ionic equation. When writing ionic equation, we only consider substances which are in aqueous solution. All right? Only in aqueous solution. Only in aqueous solution. Huh. So all those in aqueous solutions are the one that you need to consider. Anything in solid, anything in liquid, anything in gas, you don't have to consider that. And in this case, we have sodium as aqueous, we have sulfuric acid as aqueous, we have sodium sulfate as aqueous, but we have water as liquid. So the first thing is that you need to branch each compound into its specific ions. For example, these two, we have two sodium hydroxide. What this means is that these two, it means you have two sodiums, you have two oxygen, you have two hydrogen. That's what these two in front mean. It's multiplying all the elements there. So, what that means is that we, so we have two ions. We have the sodium ion, okay, like that. So you say aquas, okay. Then you also have the hydroxide ion here, which is like this. Something like that. So let me just say plus it. We have a twin plant. So we are done branching sodium hydroxide. Now we have to branch this is also aquas. Now we also have to branch sulfuric acid. Now because there's a plus here, let me put a bigger plus to differentiate it from this other. So this means we have a sulfate is an ion. And the sulfate ion is written like this. Okay. So these two comes down here. This two comes down, which is, is the one which is here. Now these two again here. This means you have two hydrogen. So that means you have two hydrogen ions like that. In aqua solution. Plus you have a sulfate ion, which is sulfate is like this. Then two minus aquas all right so these two here means you have two hydrogen that's why i wrote here but this same two is also part of the sulfate which is here so i have branched it so this will give us now let me also now branch this so you have sodium here this means you have two sodium so you have two sodium ion but you also have a sulfate ion this is an aquas plus you have a sulfate ion there which is this aquas plus water you leave it the way it is because it's not in aquas now you have now to start cancelling those which are the same sodium and sodium they are the same what else sulfate right even here is sulfate if that's all yes so we have remained with the two OH aquas plus 2 H plus aquas forming what? Forming water. And when you look at it, you're going to tell that you have two oxygen. You have uh, so it's supposed to be two here in front so that you can have four hydrogens. So it's supposed to be a two here. So even here, that means there's a two. But when you check, you have two oxygen atoms. You also have two oxygen atoms. Yeah. Then you have two hydrogen plus two, which is four. And also here, also have four. So this is an ionic equation. Let's look at another one. Let's look at this one, which says barium chloride plus zinc sulfate, forming barium sulfate as a solid and zinc chloride as an aqua. So we only have to consider those in aquas. So this is not part of it. So we are going to branch this. This Now these two, these two means you have two chlorine. It also means you have two barium. 
no, not to barrier, but it means it's an it's a it's a it's a valence for barrier. So we have this. Okay, barrier two aquas plus then chlorine we have two like this now okay that's what it means so aquas and i have a bigger plus so that i can differentiate then this now they, they are like this now you know that a sulfate ion has got a valence of negative two a valence of two so zinc must have, must also have must must also have a valence of two for them to cancel so we have zinc so zinc is since it's a metal it's going to have that in aquas plus sulfate is like this okay now we can agree that the, uh, that's how this was formed because these two are going to cancel and they're just going to remove the zinc and the sulfate itself like that then this is forming now this is a solid so we are going to leave it the way it is and we are not going to temper it then this is a solid then plus zinc chloride this two means zinc has a valence of two it also means there are two chlorine atoms so this means there's a two there for zinc it also means there is two for chlorine atoms now we can cancel we can cancel now we can check which one they are the same this side before the arrow and this side after the arrow you can check let's start from barium we have barium here do we have here no so we leave it the way it is two chlorine in aquas two chlorine in aquas okay so we can cancel this we can also cancel this then we do we have zinc in aquas here yes what about this side we also have we have sulfate here in aquas do we have sulfate here in aquas no so whatever is remained are the ones that we are going to get now these elements or compounds that we are cancelling out these are what we call spectator spectator ions why are they known as spectator they play no law they play no law in the reaction so they're not spectator ions not that right so we are going to remain with the barium like that aquas do we have anything that has remained this side yes so we have sulfate sulfate has remained forming this solid here now this is a precipitate that's what i have to mark that word that, that that's what we must know so we have barium sulfate as a solid Kevin tell well, that is balanced. Barium is one here, barium is one, sulfur, sulfur, oxygen four, oxygen four. And there we are done. So let me just give you uh you try to work out this and try to find the answer. Try to work out this if it's try out this potassium hydroxide aquas plus hydrochloric acid aquas forming potassium chloride aquas plus water liquid try this and see what it's going to give you so thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video